Hey Minions, welcome to Crank It Up. I'm Jim Price, and on this episode of Action Awareness, I want to talk about Turn the Beat Around of the Disco Dancers. This is a very interesting action that I had to read carefully several times when I first saw it. With the Disco Dancers in particular, I felt like I had to make specific notes regarding the presence, or lack thereof, of the words your, may, here, and there, because those simple words would change how an action could be used. For example, we are family doesn't have the word your in reference to minions, meaning both the target of we are family, the action it copies, and the minion originally receiving the action can come from any player. So what does turn the beat around do? When played, you can choose any one minion to gain plus one power. However, the card is aware that Disco Dancers can copy action abilities because for each minion affected by the action, a minion there of your choice gets negative one power. You can spread out the negatives however you want, giving all to one minion or breaking it into parts across several minions there. Note the inclusion of the word there, but not may and your. The card also has some interesting timing requirements. I'll be making this point a lot in future videos, so I'd like to take the opportunity to introduce a new Crank It Up keyword. Magic the Gathering players often have keywords or shorthand to describe different cards that do similar things. For example, I learned playing Smash Up with the Magic player that Scry is a tutor which lets you search for spells. Dominion has the concept of a cantrip, which is an action that draws a card and plays an extra action, meaning that it's essentially a free card to have in your deck. They got this term from Magic, who got it from Dungeons and Dragons, who got it from Scotland, etc. But we're Smash Up and we don't need Magic for our origins, so I'd like to call these BOPs, which stands for Before or Play Specials. Any resemblance that the words have to the words my niece and nephew used to describe their animal companions is purely coincidental. Turn the beat around is an action that can be played as your regular action or as a special action for the same effect. Not all specials have this ability. For example, Full Sail was one of the first cards to have this effect, but Hidden Ninja does not function like a summon during Phase 2, only during Phase 3. Thus, these cards can be played before a base scores, or you can play it during your play cards phase. So BOP for short, before or play. BOPs are very useful because sometimes you need that extra power or effect to break a base or shut an opponent down. Letting another player take a turn may give them the advantage to nullify the effect of your BOP. Block the Probe works well as a BOP because that can be the extra power you need to break the base. Full Cell can break a base for the same reason but via movement. Intimidating Presence can slow down a base's progression while you overtake an opponent which may take more than one turn to do. Turn the Beat Around is a great special, which we'll see later, but possibly it's a terrible bop and it makes me wonder why it is one. Why would you play this card in Phase 2? Turn the Beat Around, in most circumstances, is going to be a zero-sum game. If I gain 2 power because my diva copies the ability, an equivalent minion or minions must lose 2 total power. Note that the card does not say May making this an obligatory negation. Additionally, the card does say there, meaning that the power loss cannot be applied to a minion on another base who doesn't factor into the breaking. It's possible that it won't be a zero-sum game, however. If the target of the negation could not be affected by the action, then only positive power would take effect. But this doesn't seem like a good use of the card, particularly as a bop. The Disco Dancers have other actions that grant more power, as do most factions. It is quite common to see an action with two or more power boost, such as Get Down Tonight. It's also possible that the power loss is capped since a minion cannot go below zero power. But if that's the case, why are you playing this card? You're probably winning that base already, unless that was the only way to break the base and still have more power than the runner-up. By playing the card in Phase 2, we could ask additional questions such as, do we need the power for anything right now? Is there advantage to having the most power? The Disco Dancers don't have this ability, which is typically a werewolf ability, and the only case I could see for just the Disco Dancer cards is the roller. Each roller would gain a plus one power counter after it's affected by the action, which would make it a positive power output overall. But like the first instance, this is very inefficient 
since the Vorlugs themselves don't copy the ability. You would need the help of the Dancing King and We Are Family, which both have to be on the same base. So there doesn't seem to be a reason to play this card during Phase 2. But this is Smash Up, where there is always a circumstance that makes sense, right? You're probably thinking, this is the point in the video where he comes up with a combination that makes perfect sense that you didn't think about before. Well, not exactly. My first thought was, what if you couldn't play specials because of cards like Mindraker or End Stay Down? This might make sense if you didn't need the power to break the base and you just needed to change the distribution. But End Stay Down wouldn't work in this situation because if you can play it in Phase 2, then you are the active player and you get a chance to play your special, turn the beat around, before your opponent plays and stay down. Mindraker would block the ability, but it's one card. The best situation I could come up with was this. What if it's not about the power you gain, but the power a minion loses? There are far more cards that increase power and not enough that decrease it. It's plausible that you might want to depower a minion so that you can destroy it. While there are more effective ways to destroy a minion regardless of power in other factions, the Disco Dancers don't have them without giving away VP, so this might be a reason. Or, you could depower multiple minions and use a Mass Destruction card, which you would use in conjunction with Celebration, to get enough actions. This is inefficient in terms of cards, but it does work. On the whole, I don't think Turn the Beat Around needs to be a bop, but as a special, this is a great card. It can be a severe power swing that doubles with each minion who copies the ability. It's not unreasonable to copy the ability at least once with the D.Va, which is a 4 point power swing. This beats such cards as Block the Probe, the Blue Trooper, Shinobi, and many other specials, and has the ability to provide even more power when copied further. With 3 D.Va's, your Source Minion, Dancing King, and We Are Family, you can apply this action for up to 6 power gained for a total of a 12 point swing. While the Divas and Dancing King alone give you 14 power, which is enough to win most bases, if you're still losing that base before you play the card, it means you're about to steal a base from an opponent who has invested even more than you there, and that may be a card well spent. It also works really well on ninja bases because you can target their minions for the power gain and yourself for the loss. Again, note that the card doesn't say your, allowing you to choose both targets. I'm going to keep making the ninja base point until we see more of them in Smash Up. I really like this card as a special, but I'm not sure that it needs to be a bop. The problem is, the more cards that have this property, the less significant the effect becomes. There are other specials I'd love to play during Phase 2, so it's important that not every special becomes a bop by default. Can you think of another use case for playing Turn the Beat Around in Phase 2? Let me know in the comments. Also be sure to incorporate BOP into your Smash Up vernacular. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's shut it down.